Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today, and this is just a video I wanted to make because uh, I have a few things I wanted to mention, and uh, now that I finished my Pyramid series and I was kind of focused on that, I find myself not really sure what I'm going to make my next history video about, and that, <laughs> that's kind of rare, I guess. I have a few that are kind of documentary form that I'm a long way away from finishing, but uh, I am open to suggestions, and I get a lot of my ideas for videos from requests and suggestions. So this comment section is going to be really what you people want to see in the future. And uh, sometimes there's some really good ideas. Sometimes there's really good ideas because I've started making videos on that subject and I never finished them. And then I can also direct you to videos that I've already made on that subject. But that happens a lot. I just wanted to say that, and uh, my Pyramid series, I'm going to talk about that just briefly at the end here, but first of all, I want to thank Country Rebel, the number one country music website, for sharing my video with Callie Tucker again, and uh, I really appreciate that. I know Callie appreciates that. It got watched thousands of times again, and this is her doing crazy. I'll leave a link for this video below. <laughs> you can see here I, I'm not even signed into Facebook, and I've had some messages on Facebook for uh, interview requests, for podcasts, and for stuff like that, and that is something I might be comfortable with. I'm not really into promoting myself. It's more about the information, and uh, I keep on getting messages or comments. What is your affiliation? Who do you represent? Have you been to these places? You know? What is your degree? Well, I have a degree. Oh, there we go. <sighs> uh, I'm kind of burnt on those. I'm not affiliated with any group, any educational system, anything at all. Thank goodness I'm free to just give you the evidence that I find and not worried about anybody's agenda or anything like that. The only group I belong to is a group of people that want to know Really, what the hell happened on this earth without any of the BS that has affected the flimsy, lame history that we have been taught. And that's really a reason I make videos, because when I went to search why things are taught the way they are, just the evidence they are based on is just offending. So that's why I make videos. I just wanted to mention that. Um, I also wanted to mention this. I watched this video last night, and I know the Serapium. There's a place that people are really fascinated about. There's this whole, seems like an earlier lost history. And the Serapim is one of the best evidences of that. And I watched this video. I've mentioned Pukajay before, but I thought this was one of the best videos I've ever seen on the Serapim. Maybe one of the better videos I've seen on ancient Egypt. It really goes over the inscriptions on this. And just... This place is so fascinating. I just wanted to let you people... Be aware of this video. I've been meaning to watch this for a little while now, and I watched it last night, and rarely, <laughs> very rarely do I watch a 55-minute video all the way through. But, uh, man, I was so impressed. So I just wanted to share that. Now my Egypt... So oh, that's hey. Yusuf. Very, very knowledgeable guy. He went along with Pook J guys. But, uh... He's one person I really respect with his knowledge. Of course, his father, Akeem, is very famous. But I added a couple videos to the Pyramid series. These are the royal tombs and pyramids of Kush and El Karu down uh, in southern Egypt or upper Egypt. But these are fairly modern pyramids, but uh, I thought these were pretty cool. I think I made these a couple years ago even. I'm not sure when, but... I'll leave the links for these, these two videos, and I also made this video about uh, Jeb Barkel. And this is some uh, fairly modern pyramids. Some, I believe, were intended for tombs, but I can't really remember what I said on these videos, but I was making some videos on uh, Old Testament stuff and some of these videos. I wish I would have worded these a little differently <laughs> with what I know now, but I think there's some good information in here. An old temple from Amenhotep III. And these are scattered all the way from way southern Egypt 
I believe, all the way up to Baalbek. I think he, Amenhotep, at one point, the Egyptian region extended all the way up into Lebanon. So I just wanted to mention that. And going back to the Serapium video, where they go over just how these unbelievable sarcophagus, and then we have this inferior inscriptions on them, and they say this comes from the Ptolemaic period, and I totally agree with them. These are inferior made glyphs, but I've had a request, how do you read hieroglyphs, and how you go about that, and if people want to see that, I guess I could make a video on that. It's, it's pretty uh, detailed, and I can give some of my maybe own little theories, but if people want to see that, I could make a video like that, no problem. Probably want to, I'd probably do that down at Luxor, where I'd feel a little cooler reading off the actual wall of inscriptions. And there, I'm fairly familiar with those down there, and uh, they do tell a story, so maybe that is a video I can make. And I thought I should also mention this. I mentioned there were some other sites that I have, I don't think I've mentioned in my pyramid series, and there are a couple places. I think there are lost pyramids, but it'll be kind of hard to convince you, but I might, I might make a video on those sites in the near future or at some point in the future, but this is one site, I don't, this is very southern Saqqara, even south of southern Saqqara, but I don't think I included this on any pyramid, because I would have remembered these modern buildings, but what is this? What are they doing here? Now I would say this is just a modern heap of rubble, except for it's perfectly lined to the north, and there is, looks like a descending shaft going perfectly lined on the western side, it's about 100 meters long. There's an ancient wall surrounding the whole place. There are little stuff buried all around it. And it seems like there's even a huge wall on the western side, maybe. But I guess I haven't talked about this. I'm not sure what it was. It appears to be a causeway, even. And this appears to be elevated. But there is modern stuff around here. What are not sure what exactly is going on here but this is where it is located there are other sites i might talk about that really don't have any documentation i just wanted to show you that that's where it's located way down here it's even south of uh, the ben pyramid if you want to check it out yourself but leave comments what do you want to see i just thought i would make this video to mention a few things interview requests i think i might be comfortable making those in the future so uh facebook or message me through youtube those are two ways to get a hold of me hope you thought that was cool and y'all have a very nice day